You may find yourself needing to diagnose a DTC P2135 on a vehicle with electronic throttle control such as this 2017 Buick Oncar with a 1.4 liter engine. Now first we need to understand that a P2135 indicates that these sensors, the two throttle position sensors in the electronic throttle body are in disagreement with one another, which is most likely a fault in the throttle position sensors themselves, which are of course internal to the throttle body. But there's also an outside chance that it could be a problem in the ECM or possibly the wiring between the ECM and the throttle body. Now a quick test to help us to narrow down the fault is to first access the connector at the electronic throttle body, which we've done here, then consult a wiring schematic to identify our key circuits, which are the 5 volt reference, the sensor ground, and throttle position sensor 1 and 2. First, while in key on engine off, we want to verify that there is both our 5 volt reference and ground. So, we'll access the sensor ground and the 5 volt reference and we see that we have 5 volts showing on the meter which indicates that we have both 5 volt reference and ground. So now that we know that those circuits are good, the next thing we want to do then is verify that our throttle position sensor 1 and 2 signal wires are good. So looking at the data, throttle position sensor 1, we see that it shows 0 volts. Well, that signal then goes from low to high as the sensor is in operation. So that being the case, we would then, if we send five volts across that circuit, we should see the reaction on throttle position sensor one. You see it goes from zero to five. So now it's seeing our five volts. Now let's try throttle position sensor two. So we're going to access that circuit. And since that, sir, since that sensor starts high and goes low, we'll short it to ground and see if it pulls down. And you see that it does. So what does this confirm for us? Well, this confirms that our wiring between the throttle body and the ECM is good, and it also confirms for us that the ECM is able to see and react to the changing uh, signals. So that tells us that we are, uh, we are looking at a faulty throttle body. We need to replace the throttle body. In fact, this car is gonna get a new th throttle body. But of course, once we do this, we would not want to forget to do the needed electronic throttle body relearn afterwards. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of being able to perform diagnostics on an electronic throttle body fault.